Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 34 of the Let's Play World. So last episode, I did some interiors, and I had asked you guys what sort of lights you liked inside this room. And the two options were we could do end rods or we could do lanterns. And overwhelmingly, people liked the lanterns. And I think I agree. The gray tones in there match the room really nicely. The warmth of the lantern goes really nice with the wood. So we're going with lanterns. I've got another question for you guys that I'll ask a little later in the episode. But first we need to deal with this. In my last episode, right at the end, I had a lightning strike and our little shack that we built in episode one of the Let's Play burnt down. So I wanna repair this and then I wanna do a ton of work on our waterfront project. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend the pier all the way around the entire bay. Ultimately, we'll end up with some different structures and things like that all the way around. We'll do some decorating and terraforming, of course. I want there to be a bridge out to this island, and I have some ideas for some projects out there. So, um, yeah, a lot to do. And we have our shack back. Gave it a little bit of a fireproof upgrade here so we don't have to worry about that. Interior is exactly the same as it was before. I know this project is gonna use a lot of wood so I'm just gonna plant some random trees over here so we can collect those while we're working. So I wanna create a walkway that looks like it's weathered. It looks like it's been used. And I've started to do a little bit of that down there down here, I haven't really done much of that, and we won't yet. I want to start by just putting down oak slabs and getting a feel for the shape of this. Once we have the shape laid out, then we'll go back and we'll do the weathering and the detail and all of that. big plan here. I'm just sort of feeling it out and, and trying to make it feel somewhat natural. This will take a little bit of finessing and massaging, but I'm just trying to get something in place so we have something to work with. Oh, hello. Okay, so we've got something here, and now I'm gonna start kind of massaging it a little bit, figuring out where the posts belong, and make sure it feels right walking around it. Looks like our trees are ready. pretty good about that, right? That's the easy one. We'll end up with a little bit of a path going up to the lighthouse here. Maybe something like that actually would be here. So do these need to be like, do I need one here to mirror this? It seems like architecturally that would make sense. It's a little narrow here is all. And then like here, that would make sense. I don't always need them on this side, I guess. Likely one way out here to support that part of the dock. And we'll do another one way out here. Feels pretty good so far. And this guy is just checking it out. I feel like up over here is a easy candidate. Maybe, I don't know, let me see here. 
And we're walking from over here. If I had one there, it feels like that would be in the way. Like maybe I need to take this out a little bit. So we'll leave that for now. Maybe out here. That looks like from over here. The same thing, like I feel like this needs to scoot out just a little bit. Or we could scoot it in a little bit. So let's put a torch on top of that one because that needs some attention. Okay, so I want this to come in a little bit. Just start scooching it in here. I don't know if I want to smooth this out because I don't think fences look very good when they zigzag really hard like that. So I'm going to leave this until we start getting some fences in here and then we'll make a call on it. Okay, so one thing I'm seeing that I don't like is when the fence has to turn into the uh, post here. I prefer it when the fence just runs into the side, runs into the side. So for example, this post would be better here or one more out. Similarly, this one where it has to turn into it. I don't like that. I like this where the fence just runs into the side. So that'll take a little adjustment. I think this is where the bridge is going to go. So I'm going to leave this open for right now. But otherwise, I think we are on the right track. All right, did a little finagling here. So again, the bridge will be here. And then I straightened this out so it made a little more sense. But now this feels a little cramped. So we're likely going to tear a little bit of this out. But we're pretty good up to here, I think. Okay, I feel like we're getting closer here. Still not sure about this left side. But the right side is feeling pretty good. The width is okay all the way around. Oh, that's interesting. Good luck on your voyage. Getting there. Okay, I feel like we're really making some progress here. So that looks like a pier to me. Still not a lot going on besides our little shack and a big old lighthouse, but that is definitely going to change. So I think the first thing I want to do here is build another simple structure just kind of next to our shack here. Right here I'm going to have just a little storage area, and then next to that, one, two, three, four, five, six, we'll have another structure. I think it'll be a similar width. It might be a little taller. I accidentally unearthed the cave from uh, episode one.
all nervous about building roofs out of wood now. I need that, that 1.17 lightning rod. Cool little building here and then a little storage area right next to it kind of like a little shed or something and yeah this is kind of the vibe i want out here just these little kind of shanty buildings um all the way around like this was maybe a a port or something right behind the old castle that used to be here so uh this will be a, a project that's ongoing let me do a couple little cleanup things here just to make this a little bit safe and then we'll call this part done I want to try something here. We're going to put down these. Okay, and can I put one right on top? I can. Oops. Oh, yeah, it looks like a fence. It'll keep things from sneaking around here while we're out here. There we go, even better. I put some from the front and some from the back to add a little more depth there. And we can put a little bit of shrubbery or, or what have you out here. There we go. Put that in between here as well. We don't get mobs sneaking through. Nice. I think we need a little bit of an upgrade here. There we go. I suspect this project's gonna take a while, so we might as well keep our supplies down here with us. Where do they think they're going? Nice. So far, that is looking pretty awesome. Can you imagine when we got all these little buildings along here and little structures? A much more detailed build than I've been doing lately, which I like. Challenges me a little bit. Like I was saying, the lighting is going to be a little bit of a trick. We could do little light posts or lamps or something like that. Um, we could always put something in the deck and cover it with carpet although i don't know if i would if that would work or not anyway some different things to play with so yeah definitely let me know what you think because like i said i think i'm on to something but there's definitely a lot more work to do let me know if you have ideas for what to put along this pier i know up on the wall of tasks there's one thing that says big boat that's definitely going along here but let me know what else you think would look really cool or what would be a, a fun thing to add to the pier. Let's take a look at this real quick here. Very cool. Great start. So, uh, you guys want to do something weird? Last time I was over here at my villager trading hall, I noticed something. My farmers sell suspicious stew. Like all of them do. And I haven't really shown you guys this, but I've found a bunch of it in treasure chests and things like that too. So yeah, let's eat some suspicious stew. So if you don't know what suspicious stew is, basically it's an item that you can find in a treasure chest or sometimes a shipwreck. You can trade with farmers for it. And if you find a mushroom, you can get it from them as well. And basically it is a stew that you eat and it will give you a random potion effect for like three seconds. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's really not. So right now I've got speed and haste. You can see them there up in the right hand corner and obviously when I look at my inventory you can see 
them here as well. So let's go ahead. These are the six I got from the farmers. Let's start with this one here. And of course, I have to wait for my hunger to go down a little bit. Okay, there we go. So here's suspicious stew number one. Ah, that's weakness. Yeah, that's not great. But we're okay. Let's see what the second farmer gave us. Uh-oh. Got night vision. That was fun. Alright, farmer number three, what'd you give me? Oh. Got jump boost. Yeah! One thing I'm noticing is it takes forever for me to get hungry again after I eat this suspicious stew. Yeah, so I just looked it up. It's the same as chicken. The cooked chicken and the suspicious stew both restore the same amount of health, which is pretty impressive. All right, let's see what we got here. Jump boost. All right, let's see what this guy gave us. More night vision. All right, and the final one from the farmers. Jump boost. The farmers gave us a couple of jump boosts, a couple of night visions, and one weakness. Let's see what we got out of the shipwrecks. What is that? So I looked back at the video and I looked up the symbol and it's saturation. The only way you ever get the saturation effect is by eating suspicious stew. So it just makes it so you don't get hungry very often. Okay, let's see if we can get anything good here. Night vision. More night vision. Jump boost. Saturation. Ow. Uh-oh. Got poisoned. Huh. Well, that was interesting, I guess. We learned that it's actually an okay food source, especially early game. If you find a shipwreck, go ahead and eat it. Worst thing that'll happen is you get poisoned for a couple of seconds. But the effects weren't really very interesting or very helpful. Nothing compared to eating a good old puffer fish. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Never doing that again. Well, that's where we're going to wrap this one up. Remember to leave me a comment and let me know what you think would be a cool addition to the Waterfront Project. Thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.